be vlogmas day 12 um happy monday so i woke up this morning with a little bit of a sore throat and i have a headache and just I just overall just kind of feel achy and it's raining outside so i decided it would just be better if i stayed home from school today um we're gonna make it a productive day though i'm gonna start by making some coffee for myself i'm gonna shower because that always makes me feel better when i'm sick um and then i'm gonna try and get some sociology notes done and just see what i can do today um and i'm gonna take you along with me Okay, I have my coffee acquired. Here's to being sick, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I feel a little bit better now that I got some medicine into my system. So I'm just going to go through my planner and just kind of see what I need to do. Um, I might start on my sociology notes first because that's easy and I kind of want to get that out of the way. Okay, and just like that, they're done. Um, I just need to kind of put my mind to it and do it. Um, I'm probably gonna take a little break and just kind of lie down and sleep for a little while because I am still sick and I want to get myself better, so that'll be the thing to do. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Good morning, happy Vlogmas Day 13. It's really early. Um, we have a peer counseling meeting this morning. We're gonna have like a cookie party at seven in the morning. I don't know why, um, but I'm feeling a lot better today. So I'm gonna go to school. Just gonna suck it up and I have work today. So I have to kind of like power through that. Um, I'll try to get a couple clips while I'm there and yeah, I'll take you along with me. vlogmas day 13 or 14 i don't even know yeah 14 14 um happy golden hour um i'm out for a little drive right now just kind of like hanging out enjoying the little sunset check this out The vibes are up right now. I'm really, I'm so blessed to live here. It's just so gorgeous. Like I just wake up every day and I just see this or I like, I leave school and I see this gorgeous sunset golden hour type thing. I love it. I'm just so blessed to live here. Good evening. Happy Vlogmas Day 15. I am currently in the midst of studying for my numerous exams I have tomorrow. They're not finals though. We don't have finals until after winter break, which is weird. I don't know why they, they decide to give us exams after break, but that's the way they're gonna do it, I guess. So we're just looking at everything. So I have sociology to study for. Oh, it's not gonna focus, but it's fine. So I have sociology I'm studying for, and I have chemistry as well. My printer decided to give out when I printed this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine, it's okay. We got all my notes out, and we're just gonna go to town on this and spend the next couple hours studying. One eternity later. Okay, I've been studying a lot. I actually made a location change because I was 
I was done, but look at this. Oopsies. I stayed up too late studying. I better get a good grade on this. Um, I should probably go to bed because it's late. It's like 11.30 on a school night. <laughs> good evening. Happy Vlogmas Day 16. I'm at a party with a bunch of narcissistic theater kids. So what's up? Hey! Okay, hold on. <laughs> Dear Evan Hansen, we've been way too out of touch. Slay King. Things have been crazy, and it sucks that we don't talk that much. But I should tell you, it's all it takes is a little reinvention. It's easy to change if you're given your a. Uh, Afternoon. Happy Vlogmas Day 17. I'm actually in the car just hanging out at the moment because I'm about to do some volunteer work today. So every year I perform, I play piano for an assisted living facility that's kind of local. I always do a, a holiday theme show for them every year and I'm about to go do that right now. I'll try to get some clips inside and yeah. Happy Vlogmas Day 18. Um, so today's Sunday, kind of like the end of the week, and I wanted to just kind of end my week with a good journaling session. Like I'm gonna get my bullet journal ready for 2023 for this year, and I'm just gonna kind of go on Pinterest and just see what ideas I can find to maybe write about in 2023. Okay, after thinking about it a little bit, I think I have some fun ideas I might wanna do. So here I have a couple of early Christmas gifts I got. I have this little journal, it's really cute. It's kind of small, but it's adorable, and I'll do something fun with it. Um, and also have these really fun pens I haven't used yet, and I'm gonna start with using them for 2023, my little bullet journal. It's not, I don't like doing New Year's resolutions just because they kind of set you up for failure, and I just kind of don't want to deal with that. So I'm just gonna figure out like what I can do. I'll just like do some research and find something cool to use. Okay, after a few minutes of searching, I found a really cool idea that I think I'm gonna use. So there's one here that I found on YouTube. It's like a 52 week writing challenge. So basically the name just kind of explains what it is. Basically for like 52 weeks of a year, you just write something. So there's a prompt you get, and then you just kind of write about that prompt once a week. And I think that'd be really cool. It's like a good way to kind of like reset after a week and then it'll be just, just kind of be good for my mental health. And I think it'll be a good idea. Let's get started on that.
was able to actually create a pretty cool little setup. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm doing like a little 52 week, um, like, what is it called? Like a 52 week writing challenge where basically I just wrote like a couple questions or prompt type things. And basically once a week in the year of 2023, I'll just write about it. And it'll go in here and it'll just be my little log for the year of 2023, I guess. Yeah.